Hi everybody! Do you want to change your life but you don't really know how to get from A to B to do that? I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process that takes you through the whole way of manifesting your dreams into reality. We all sit and dream about how we would like our lives to be and what we would like to shape our lives into, but uh, not a lot of us know the process to get from the point where you're thinking about it till it actually comes to pass. So what I call this is resonant manifesting because that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the vibrations and the resonance of your body to accentuate and excel you towards your goals. Now, according to quantum physics, everything vibrates in the universe. Everything has a resonant energy to it. Uh, even inanimate objects are moving and resonating at the atomic level. You just can't see it. So according to this and the law of attraction, like attracts like. Positive things attract positive things. Negative attracts negative to it. And that's what we're building on here. So in this manifesting for what I'm going to teach you, it is like a step-by-step -step process of how to use your resonant energy to make things happen or to direct your uh, goals in a certain direction. So we've gone over resonant energy and how do we put that into this process of manifesting what we want? Well first we have to create what it is that we want to do. Now normally uh, people will think about things but their energy is going out in a chaotic fashion and not focus towards one goal. So what we want to do is to gather up that energy or that resonance and focus it towards one goal. When I coach people on manifesting, there is one thing that I do tell them. You want to drive all of your energy towards one goal and one goal only. You can use this process for anything you want. You can use it for a new relationship. You can use it for a new project. You can use it for a new career. However, if you decide to do all three of those things at one time, then you're fracturing your energy in three different directions and you will bring your success down. If you want to manifest something, pick one thing, pick a short time to manifest it and drive all of your energy towards that one particular goal that will boost and skyrocket your success okay so what we're going to do is to focus on the thought of what we want we're going to think it and we're going to visualize it those are two different kinds of energy at work there we have the electromagnetic thought and we have the electromagnetic visualization going on. So that's two different types of resonant energy that are combined and going towards that one goal. The next thing that we're going to do is to take a piece of paper and while we're thinking or visualizing and thinking about this thought, we're going to take a pen and write down exactly what we want in this goal. Okay. That's adding kinetic energy to the electromagnetic energy that you're already compounding here with the thought and the visualization. Now, while we're writing out what we want, while we're thinking it, while we're visualizing it, we're also going to add speech to it because your speech and your voice is one of the most powerful resonant things that you have at your disposal. So we're going to utilize that. We're going to add that to what we're doing. What we're doing in a nutshell is we're creating an imprint in the quantum environment around us 
that drives that energy to that goal. So you're going to think it, visualize it, say it, and write it simultaneously to make as big of an imprint as you can about this goal or this direction or this project. Now, when you're writing your goals out, your goals must be realistic. We live in a physical plane of existence and we have to participate in the rules that guide and direct us in this plane of existence. So your goals have to be realistic. Um, you can't manifest a new relationship tomorrow. That's not a realistic goal, but you can manifest a new relationship within a couple of months. That's a more realistic goal. To give you an example, let's say you're manifesting a new life companion. What would be the things that we would want to manifest towards a goal for that new life companion? They would have to be, number one, I want a life companion who is trustworthy. Number two, I want a life companion that is dependable. Number three, I want a life companion who likes to do the same things that I like to do. Number four, I want a life companion who enjoys spending time with me. And number five, I want a life companion who in difficult times is someone I can lean on. So those are very realistic goals for a life companion. You notice we're not manifesting a boyfriend, we're not manifesting a husband, but a life companion has those different qualities. And then on the last part of your goal list, you want to put a timeline. I want to meet this person within six months. That's a reasonable time frame to meet this kind of person. Now, what you're going to do with this life companion list is you're going to post it somewhere and you're going to reactivate it every single day. You're going to go through your list and say exactly what you've written. What that does is it keeps that echo in the environment and keeps that goal traveling towards you. Now, you don't want to make your list too long. Don't make it over 10 items long because you will not go through and say that every morning. Um, so if you have something that's going to take too long, that's going to decrease your success also because you won't go through that list real quick and reactivate it and reverberate it every day. So let's just do a couple of examples. Let's say... I want a new job, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of new job I want, but I know I want a new job. Well, let's just start there. Number one, I want a new profession. Don't say job. I want a new profession. This profession will make me very happy. This profession will pay me at least $70,000 a year. I will come across this profession looking in the job postings every Friday for one hour. I will look through the job postings in a general way every Friday for one hour at 2 p.m. I will find this profession within three months of looking through the job postings. Do you see how that works? So you really don't even have to know what you're wanting. You can put that general statement out there. As long as you put it in a physical sense once a week to cause this to happen or to activate it to happen. Let's say you're back. Let's rewind and say you're looking for that, that um, life companion. How are you going to activate that once a week? How are you going to put that into action? You're going to go places that you enjoy going to and do things that you enjoy doing. By reason, that person should come in contact with you there. I had somebody say to me once, what should I go out and do? What should I to meet this person? That's not what you're supposed to worry about because the person that you want to manifest as your life companion will already like the same things that you like to do. 
So all you have to do is to activate that once a week by going out into the environment <clears throat> and putting yourself in happy situations that you want to participate in. That person should already be in that area. So when you activate this for that profession, you're going to do a physical thing, which is searching through those job postings once a, fr once a week, every Friday at 2 p.m. for three months until something clicks in your mind and you see what that is on that job post and you go, that's it. That's what she was talking about. So this is the process I want to share with you. It's worked really, really well for a lot of my clients. And um, it's really easy to use. It's simple. I would suggest to do a short manifesting, maybe three months, just so that you can see how well it works. And then once you do that, you can apply it to all these other areas in your life. And happy blessings, guys. Kisses from Kentucky. We'll see you next time. Bye.